We move on next now to oil and gas. Uh, the Nigerian Midstream and uh, Downstream Petroleum Regulatory A Authority has said that more collaborations uh, and interventions are needed to improve domestic gas utilization in the country, despite the various initiatives and policy frameworks set up by the federal government. Uh, this was disclosed in Port Harcourt during a stakeholders' engagement on gas utilization in Nigeria. Uh, details in this report. As global attention continues to shift toward cleaner energy, stakeholders in the oil and gas sector say more attention needs to be on the nation's gas resources. This formed the basis for discussion at a forum organized by the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority in Port Accord. The Executive Director, Distribution Systems, Storage and Retailing Infrastructure, Ogbugo Ukoa noted that some of the heaviest consumers of diesel were operating outside the regulatory oversight, which was not in accordance with the Petroleum Industry Act. He added that the objective of the engagement was to enlighten consumers on the need to obtain the requisite petroleum storage license and to engender the transition from diesel, kerosene and fuel to gas. The law requires that if you have storage for more than 500 liters and you're handling that volumes of petroleum much more than that, you need to apply for the relevant license. Um, secondly, we're also saying to these heaviest users of, of um, AGO that they need to begin to consider uh, converting to gas because gas not only represents um, a cheaper but ultimately a cleaner source of energy. We believe that um, there's a huge gap between availability and utilization. We would like to bridge that gap. Stakeholders at the engagement also advocated penetration of gas utilization to the public. Encourage the ease of penetration of gas utilization to our nation through the mechanism of Petroleum Product Retail Outlet Owners Association of Nigeria all over the nation and in particular for those of us in River State, using our mechanism in River State. The PA has actually developed, established within the authority, the Midstream and Downstream Gas Infrastructure Fund to enable more investments within that value chain and to see that gas is brought to Nigerians at very cheaper rates. That's the essence of all this engagement, to create this awareness. And as we operationalize this, if this fund, we are very optimistic that uh, Nigerians will begin to reap the benefits sooner than later. How do regulators make it easy for us to be able to assess funds? So when it comes to Forex, everybody who buys a gas tank is buying a Belgium gas tank. Why? We can't afford the USD to buy new ones. The authority appealed to all petroleum handlers to fully comply with the provisions of the PIA and NMDPRA regulations and avoid strong regulatory enforcement, which may adversely impact on business operations. All right, as we go on the show, prior to 2019, Nigeria had 41.5 million micro, small, and medium enterprises, but this number has decreased to 39.6 million, according to a survey conducted by the Small and Medium Enterprise Development Agency of Nigeria's Medin and the National Bureau of Statistics. A whole lot has been said. Well, this represents a 4.6% decrease in the number of MSMEs in Nigeria over the period. By implication, nearly 2 million MSMEs shut down between 2019 and 2021, according to the report. Well, I have the national president of the Association of Micro Entrepreneurs and of Nigeria, Emin, and reacting to the many issues faced by small businesses in Nigeria. I'll leave you with details of that and I'll be back tomorrow. My name is Justin Akadonia. Business Insight returns again tomorrow. Bye for now. The local manufacturers in Nigeria have been facing a lot of challenges, ranging from the power and ranging from lack of form to do business. For the past eight years, Nigeria entrepreneurs, most of entrepreneurs, about 52% of micro entrepreneurs in Nigeria have fought up. The few have, related, have recorded to the neighboring country. Why? Because of the unfriendly environment. There's no power and there's no money. For us to be able to, to compete with other Western world, 
The reason why Nigeria is continuing having rapid unemployment is because the industry, the local manufacturers, are not working. In any country that wants to, to make headway, that wants their economy to grow, should not eliminate the local manufacturers. For us to get money from bank is a pro even both commercial and the microfinance bank is a very big problem. I have ad even advocated that the Nigeria government should adopt what I call small micro business bank, where a micro where getting money will not be as hard as it is today. The local manufacturers on daily basis are thrown in the towel because we cannot control like this. The incoming administration, no matter whomever that's come there, please, this industry should, is, an, is, is an industry that nobody should toy with. For us to move out from the, the, the state we are now as one of the highest unemployment in Nigeria because the micro entrepreneurs we are the highest employer of labor because we use unskilled labor to work. The incoming administration, this is a roadmap for you. Please, before you, you choose your minister of trade and investment, please go for somebody that has micro entrepreneurs background somebody can be able that can be able to know what the, the industry is all about don't go and bring a doctor or engineer and put his, him or her into this sensitive economic uh, 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 post we need a competent person that can be able to know what the micro entrepreneurs are going through we have skills. Our products are doing very well, even outside this nation. And how can we do more? We can only do more when the government supports us, the local manufacturers in Nigeria.